This tutorial is an introduction to scripting. It shows how to make this script, which when run, creates a simple model. Click the Choose Screen Layout button and choose the Scripting Layout. The window at the bottom is a Python console window. It's interactive, which means you can run Python commands by typing them at the prompt and pressing Enter. The command returns an empty list. We must specify what we want listed. Now we get a list of the objects in the scene, a camera, a cube and a lamp. At the top of the window is help information. These keys are standard keys for editing text at a prompt. Using the up and down arrow keys you can bring back old commands and reuse them. And there is autocomplete that has a shortcut and a button. Click the object properties button. To make the model we need to change the scale values of the cube. Hovering over one of the values the tooltip pops up and gives the script name for the property which is scale. Highlight the name of the cube in the list. Control and C to copy. Click on the prompt. Control and V to paste. Type in dot S and click the autocomplete button and the console displays all the commands that begin with the letter S. Type in SC and autocomplete. There is only one command that begins with SC, so we get scale. Set the scale equal to, there are three values for scale, an X value, a Y value, and a Z value, and put them in brackets. Pressing enter, the cube's scale values change. The Python console is great for testing single commands, but how do we build up longer scripts? We need a text editor for editing multiple lines. Click the New button to create a new text block. Highlight the Scale command. Control and C to copy. Click on the text editor. Control and V to paste. Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar and click Run Script. We get an error message because when we run a command in the console, the Blender Python modules are built in. When we run a script, they are not. We have to add the line import BPY. We won't see the effect of the command unless we reset the values now when we run the script, the values change. When we run the script, we can't assume that there'll be a cube already in the scene, so press X to delete it. We need the command for adding a cube in the Add menu Mesh Cube, and as the tooltip pops up, there is the command Primitive Cube Add. At the top of the screen, linked to the menu bar, is a report area that shows the last action executed. Commands can be selected by clicking on them and copied with Ctrl and C and pasted with Ctrl and V. We get a long list of parameters that can be deleted and they will be set to default values. The command remains selected until we click on it again. Before I run the script, I want to change one of the commands. We are assuming that the new cube will be called cube, and that won't be the case if there's already a cube in the scene with that name. Press S to scale and drag to make the cube bigger. We get another scale command, resize that doesn't use the cube's name. Click to select, Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. Copy and paste the scale values.
delete the other parameters, click to deselect the command and delete the old command, press X to delete the cube. For the head, add mesh monkey. From the tooltip, the command is primitive monkey add. Highlight the add cube command, right click copy, right click paste and replace cube with monkey. Click run script and we need to move the monkey head upwards. Click to select the transform translate command, control and C to copy and paste it into the script. Delete all the parameters. Set the Z value to 2 and the Y value to minus 0.3. Click on the command to deselect it. For the arms, I'm going to add a cylinder. The command is primitive cylinder add. Copy the lines that added the head and paste. Change monkey to cylinder and change the values to 2 comma 0 comma 0. The cylinder needs to be resized. Copy the line and paste and change the X and Y values to 0.5. For speed, I'm going to delete everything in the scene. Press A twice to select all. Press X to delete. To test the script, click Run Script. Everything looks OK, but I want to put the arm on a slant. Press R to rotate, Y for the Y axis, minus 30 and Enter. Click on the command to select it. Control and C to copy and paste it into the script. I have jumped ahead and deleted all the parameters that are not needed. In Python, angles are measured in radians, not degrees. This is 30 degrees in radians. Click to deselect the command. For the second arm, I could duplicate the first arm or I could copy the commands for the first arm. For the arms, I'm going to copy the commands. Copy and paste. The X location needs to be made minus two and delete the minus sign from the angle. Press A twice to select all. Press X to delete and run the script. For the legs, copy the first three lines of the arms and paste. Change the X value to 0.7. Change the Z value to minus 3.5 and change the Z value of the resize to 2. Run the script. Hold down shift, press D and enter to duplicate. Click to select the command, Control and C to copy, and paste it into the script. The command is duplicate move, so I can move the new cylinder at the same time. Change the value to minus 1.4. I have jumped ahead and deleted all the other parameters. 
click to deselect the command, we get an error message and it says look in the console for now. There's nothing in the Python console because it means the system console. In the system console we get the details of the error. It's a syntax error due to deleting too many brackets. Don't close the system console, it'll end your Blender session. Minimize it. I have put the bracket in. Now when we run the script, it works. That's the end of the tutorial. In future tutorials, I'll show you how to set up a command to run the script and how to link the command to a button. I'll put the script in the description below and at my website. Click the link if you want to visit my website or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye. And don't forget, when writing scripts, the mouse pointer has to be in a window for the window to be active.